Hi guys. Look what I've got. I've got some old discs. These were the large floppy discs. We used many moons ago. If you're old like me, you'll remember using these. <laughs> it used to take forever to back anything up onto these discs. And remember if you if you wanted to load a game onto your computer, you needed like 10 discs or something and it would take forever. Anyway, I just love them. I've been hoarding these for a while and I thought I'd pull a few out and start using them. And what I was thinking, since Christmas is coming up, I thought these would make really cute little computer nerdy notebooks. Last year for, I can't remember if it was my birthday last year or Christmas the year before, but anyway, one of those. My husband got me one of those wire binding machines. I thought I might use the metal binding machine for these. So I might put one on the back and one on the front as the cover. And I'll, I think the first batch I'll do, I'll make a couple different, I think. The first batch I might do is just plain paper, I think. And maybe some, do I have a piece here? Oh, hold on. Old computer printer paper. I might chop some of this down as well and put in there, but I might just put plain plain paper for for the first few. Just make cute little notebooks. A bit floppy, floppy. Of course, they're floppy disks. Um, maybe I might put some Manila folder as the first and last page. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't given it much thought yet. Actually, I might put manila folder because then this circle, I don't really want the white paper showing through. Anyway, Luna Leaper. I have no idea what that was. Oh no, I did pick out a few the other day that I wanted to make little notebooks out of, but I think I've mixed them all up now. Look at this. Sister Master DOS 3.3. <laughs> it's so old. Vortrex. VC80. I don't know what that is. Online ink. Threshold. These little um cardboard. Oh, label popped off this one. I might keep that for a little computer nerdy junk journal. These little um, holders are good as well. They're great little pockets. I should pull one apart and make a little template. What else? Alzacar, the Forgotten Fortress. Those are obviously games. Apple, Apple Copy Program D. Oh, this one, this one's damaged. I have no idea what happens to this one. It's kind of like melted. Anyway, I've counted, I think I counted 33, no, 39, not including this. So I had 40, but that's damage, 39. 60K CPM word style. I think there was a typewriting one as well. Accounting disc, Apple service program, Ace Rider. Apple, present Apple. I have no idea what these were even from, to be honest. But anyway, that's my plan. So I might go and chop some paper and I'll be back. Okay. So I've cut the paper and I've gone ahead and bound them. I didn't have any uh, of the black coil, so I've used silver. But that's okay. I think they still look cute. I just love them. They're so cute. I'm sure I'm probably not the only one who's thought of this idea. But um, I just love them. I think they're adorable. I think they will make cute, cute little presents for, you know, someone in 
IT at work or something like that. But anyway, I made five, I made six, but I've only made five for my Etsy shop because one of them is for a friend of mine. He works in computers. And let me just show you. I did go ahead and put a disc front and back. I was tossing up with the idea originally of putting bookboard on the, but I just thought it looked cuter, a disc front and back. Okay, so this one says Apple Copy Program D. I love the original little computer disc labels. All of them, I left the labels and the disc exactly as it was. So you'll see some of them might be stained or raggedy, but I just think I like them looking authentic, exactly how they were. I don't want to replace labels or, you know, tidy them up or anything i just think they're really cute as they are one of them has the tape over that little notch i've left that i don't know if any of the others had tape on the back yeah some of them have tape on the back i put manila folder in the front and back covers it's, a, it's quite a thin manila folder. Just so you wouldn't see the white paper through the little hole in the disc. <laughs> I just love them. I think they're so cute. Okay, I have scattered throughout some of this old computer printer paper. You know, the printer paper that went uh, on the dot matrix printers. Had the little sprockets on the side and... The, all the paper is perforated and you have to tear it apart after you've printed it. Oh, I've got some here. You would have seen this on my channel before. So it comes all joined together and you just rip it apart. It's perforated. Those were the days. I've put the side with the little holes there because I thought that looks cuter. So you can tell what it is. Um, unfortunately, that means the little numbers down the side that are printed on there. I don't know if you can see. They'll be upside down, but that's okay. It still looks cute. Um, okay, I've put 50 white photocopy pages in here. And I've put eight of these pages plus the two manila pages so there's 60 pages all up in my original prototype for my friend i did put 70 pages but um it was a bit too full and i didn't like how it sat with this size coil mind you they say this size coil fits 135 pages i just think it's i like it a bit looser so that you know it sits nicely so it's got, um, yeah, 60 pages all up. That's including the Manila front and back pages. Okay, so this one says Apple Copy Program D. These little pages, they're scattered throughout. They're not um, equally <laughs> scattered throughout. I just kind of eyeballed it, just popped them in. Um this disc at the back, it doesn't have a label. I think that might be the one that... I did find a little label. I don't know if that's it. Oh, no. Different size. Could be. This little pa label was the one that popped out of one of the little disc holders earlier in the video. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Atari. Remember that? It was so cool. Anyway, I'm not sure if it was off there, but so this one doesn't have a label. So there is a bit of a glue mark there, but it's the back inside cover anyway. Okay, so there's that one. This one has Votrex Private VC80. I can't read that. No idea what it is. So you'll see they're all kind of the same. Um... Data Life label. This one's missing a little label there as well. 
I haven't tried to clean the glue off. I just left them as is. This one, <laughs> this one is the one I like the best. Systems Master DOS 3.3. Discmate. On the back. Physical 80 or something? Yeah, I can't can't quite read. I don't know what it is. This one, Alcazar, the Forgotten Fortress. Activision. Are they still around? Maybe. PFS or PF5 graph is on that label. And then this one, Sierra Online Ink Threshold. Looks like that might be a game. This one, Data Life. This has got like an old tape mark there, sticky tape mark. Initialized disc for accounting is on that label. I put the um, nicer disc on front and the uglier one on the back. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Anyway, um, I've popped these into my Etsy if you're interested. Oh, I should mention, because I've hand cut all of this paper, I did use a guillotine. Don't ask me how I managed to do this, but the papers still aren't... <laughs> aren't perfectly even when I cut them. I don't know why I'm using a guillotine. How can I still have them uneven? Anyway, they're not perfect. They're pretty good though, just not exactly. I don't know if you can see that. So just know that they're not perfect. Of course, nothing I make is perfect. I'm a true junker. Anyway, I hope you like these. I just think they're adorable. I did also... Ooh, I'm going on and on, aren't I? I did toy with the idea of putting a little charm on them. Because, <laughs> like I said, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a real junker with it when it comes to junk journals. These are keyboard keys that, um, you know, when you have an old keyboard, of course, when it's broken, you pull the keys off, don't you? Of course, we all do that. There's a few different laptop ones in here. Anyway, um, I did toy with the idea of maybe I'll drill a hole, put a jump ring in and make some little charms for them. But I, I don't think it all, I don't know, if I hang it off this wire, I think it'll be annoying when you open and close this. Now, my other option was I was thinking I could punch a hole here with an eyelet and hang it off there. And I was going to use, you know, home key, control key, delete and all of that. But... um. Yeah, I don't think I have the right size eyelets. I've got the ones that are quite long on the back. So when you close them, they kind of split because they're meant for much thicker papers than that. Anyway, so I didn't do that, but I may, if I can scrounge up some eyelets somewhere, I may, um, I may do that for some future ones. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. These are those little guys. They'll be in my Etsy store if you're interested in one. Oh, if you want, I didn't film how I did the wire binding and the punching because everyone has a different machine. If you've got one, like you probably got a different machine to me and so the process will be different. But um, if you do want to see it just out of curiosity, just leave me a comment on this video and the next time I make something with some wire coils, I'll um, 
show the whole process of punching and um, putting the wire coil on. Because there are a few little tips and tricks that I learnt. It's only my second time using this machine, so there are a few little tips and tricks that I did learn while I was doing it. Like which way to sit the coils and um, just closing them and stuff like that. But anyway, that's it. I hope you like them. The link to my Etsy is in the comments box below. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.